Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Easy, and we coming back at y'all with another video. Now today, I'm gonna be talking to y'all about some of the big names that have been traded in the NBA, man. A lot of big things have been happening, man. A lot of crazy oh, trades. This, now the first one I want to talk about up, is the D'Angelo Russell and Timofey Mozgov to oh, Brooklyn, God. and Brook Lopez oh, going me. to the Lakers. Now, in my opinion, man. I feel like the Lakers didn't really get that much of a good trade. I mean, yeah, Brook Lopez is a great player and everything, but he's, him himself, he's not going to be able to bring the Lakers a championship. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Brooklyn got a lot better of a trade with Mozgov and Russell. You know what I'm saying? They got, they got two really great players, in my opinion. They, I feel like they still need to uh, keep on practicing, keep getting in the gym, keep getting better. But I feel like they have a lot of potential. And I'm not starting off this game too hot. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how Brooklyn is going to do this season. Now the next trade I want to talk about is Dwight Howard to the Hornets. And Marco Bellinelli and Miles Plumlee to the Atlanta Hawks, man. Now... Me personally, I love Marco Bellinelli, you know what I'm saying? He's a really good player in my opinion. I think he's kind of underrated. Same thing with Miles Plumlee as well. Now, Dwight Howard, I feel the same way about Dwight Howard as I know a lot of other people do. He was a great player back in the day, but he's kind of went downhill. I feel like I feel like his, uh, his career is kind of close to being done. I honestly feel that way. But, I mean, I'm not doubting him, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what the man can do on another team. I guess we'll all see how he's going to be able to fit in in Charlotte. Damn, bro, where is everybody? Oh, right in front of me. I'm garbage. Now, this is the big one. This is the big trade, man, so far. Jimmy Butler to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Zach Levine and Chris Dunn to the Bulls. When I first heard about this man, I freaked out. I love Jimmy Butler. I absolutely love the fact that he was in Chicago. I really like the Bulls, but you know what I'm saying? I really love Jimmy Butler though. Jimmy Butler's my dude. But um yeah that Chris Dunn dude. I don't really know a whole lot about him. So I don't I can't really say nothing about him. How I feel like he might fit in with the Bulls. Now Zach Levine, I know he's a great player, you know what I'm saying? He won the he won the dunk contest, what, two years ago or something like that? He's a he's a freak. He's a monster. So I, I think he's gonna be a good fit for the Bulls, but I'm not sure about that Chris Dunn. Now Jimmy Butler. <laughs> he's gonna be a great player for the Timberwolves. But besides that same thing in my opinion with the Lakers you know what I'm saying I feel like you you don't I feel like you can't win a championship just with Jimmy Butler you know what I'm saying he might help them win more games and possibly playoffs maybe but even then like in their conference there's too much competition there's just too much you know what I'm saying now the trade that pissed me off. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a Clippers fan. And CP3, aka Chris Paul, is my favorite player in the NBA right now. I love Chris Paul, I love the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? But this trade pissed me off the most. Chris Paul to the Rockets, and in return, the Clippers got Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, Sam Decker, and a 2018 first round draft pick. That upset me. Because I hate to see Chris Paul go, but at the same time, he deserves better in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? The Clippers had a good rot. They had a good run for the most part. You know what I'm saying? They did make it to the playoffs, but they were never able to 
make it go somewhere. Never. So I'm really happy for Chris Paul. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with the Rockets. I feel like he, he's going to be a fantastic asset in Houston. Him and James Harden are going to go off, man. James Harden, James Harden is going to be able to go back to the shooting guard position. Chris Paul is going to be point guard. It's going to be... It's not going to be easy for teams to play them, I feel like. Whenever they play the Rockets now, it's going to be a challenge. Now, for the Clippers. Only the really person that I feel like is going to be a really good asset to the Clippers is probably going to be Patrick Beverly. You know what I'm saying? Lou Williams, he's alright, but he ain't nothing special or nothing like that. Same thing with Sam Decker, like, I don't... I don't really think he's all that good in my opinion. But yeah, Patrick Beverly, he's a monster on defense, man. He will rob you. He will. I've seen the way he plays people on defense. He's right up on he's right up in your face. He will get on your nerves. He will make you mad. He will get you or he will make you get a technical if you start shouting at him and stuff. So yeah, I feel like Patrick Beverly is a better defensive player than Chris Paul. But there's no way in hell he's going to be even close to being anywhere near as good of a playmaker as Chris Paul was to the Clippers. And here's the second biggest trade, I feel like, of this postseason so far. Of this preseason so far. Paul George to the OKC Thunder. And Victor Oladipo and this other dude, I don't know who he is, to the Pacers. That's crazy, man. That's even... That's disgusting to think about the fact that... Russell, Westbrook, and Paul George are going to be on the same team. That's disgusting. That makes me want to throw up. Nah, I'm just kidding, but... That's freaking crazy, man. For real, like... Think about that, man. Russ is going to be throwing lobs to Paul George all day long, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. You can just stand there and watch. With that being said, though, however... Ooh, get turned on. You're, you're awful. But anyways, with that being said... Same thing, man. Like, even with Russ and Paul George on the same team, that's not enough firepower to even compete with the Warriors, man. Maybe the Spurs... Possibly, but nowhere near going to be able to still compete with the Warriors, man. No way. I feel like they might compete a little bit more, but not at the level that they need to be to consistently beat them in the playoffs. No way. Now, those are pretty much all of the biggest trades that I really want to talk about right now. You know, I'm, I'm really excited for this next NBA season, man. I'm really excited to see who's going to be able to compete with the Warriors. Now, one more thing. Don't sleep on the Spurs, man. Do not sleep on the Spurs. I know there is a lot of talk that they were trying to... What? How are we losing? Where does this dude at? Where is he capturing this flag at? Right here? Yo, what? Where was this dude at? But anyways... But yeah, one more thing. Do not sleep on the Spurs. Don't do it. You know, they, for the most part, they've been quiet this offseason. Um, there was a lot of rumors that they were trying to get Chris Paul. I was hoping he was going to the Spurs, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like something big's about to happen with them. I feel like they're about to make a, make a big move. So don't, don't sleep on the Spurs. Now, you know what I'm saying? This is just my opinion on all these trades. I know there's a bunch of other people out there that have different opinions than me. That's fine. I'm just saying what I believe is going to happen. So guys, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. Comment down below how you guys feel about the trades as well. I'm really curious to see how you guys feel about these trades and how they're going to affect all the teams next season. And other than that, subscribe if you want more content like this. So... Yeah, um, if there's more big trades in the future like these, I'm definitely going to make another video on these trades. So, yeah, that's all. And until next video, guys, 
I'll see you. Peace out.